Welcome Capricorn. This is Marlena with Graceful Healing Intuitive Tarot. HP Marlena in the house. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. If you're here, I hopefully this message really falls on great hearts and everybody's doing well and healthy, you know, for the collective. What we're going to do is going to start off with a spread and I'm going to do this a little different. I'm going to pull from multiple decks and we're going to get major confirmation. This is a love and career reading. So therefore, make sure you also look at your sun, moon, rising and Venus signs because this is a general reading. That way you can get a better idea of what's going on. Thank you, Holy Spirit, ancestors, angels and guides. Thank you, Mother Gaia, for your guidance for the Capricorn. What messages do we have for the Capricorns for the month of October 2020? October 2020. Thank you. Oh, I can tell you. At the center of your reading. Wow. Okay. So, by the way, thank you so much for coming to my channel. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell button if you want to know when I'm going live. We do do chats sometimes weekly. It just really depends upon what's going on, depending upon what's going on in the atmosphere from a collective level so please make sure you hit that subscribe and the bell button if you want to see hear back from me that way you don't lose track of me what i'm seeing here is um father figure in the center of this reading as far as this wish here so at the center of your reading we have nine of cups this is nine of water this is emotions get being emotionally fulfilled then we have a father figure here crossing this so this is being emotionally fulfilled with a father figure in your life. This could be a father of your child. This could be your father. Um, take it as it resonates. We also have the death in reverse in your foundation. So this is like you not wanting to end something here. In the past here, things were held off a bit. In the near future, you may feel as though you might have to do this on your own. <sighs> Let's see. All right. Uh, Capricorn outcome here. Just FYI, I'm seeing a union with a water sign here. Uh, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. It could be any sign, just depending upon how it resonates with you. But nonetheless, this is a general reading, so I'm going to just tell you what I see. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to clarify each piece that I see here. We're going to start from the middle. We're going to start in the center of your reading, which is this wish coming true here. Hmm. I'm feeling like you want something. I feel like you want. What is it that you want? What does Capricorn want? I just heard peace of mind. I just heard not to have to work so hard. Hmm. All right, well, let's see what this is about. Okay, so. Wow. Wow. We have some major arcanas here. We, this Queen of Cups is coming out again. I'm sorry, one moment. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, this Queen of Cups is back out here again. So this is probably definitely in regards to, listen to me, probably definitely in regards to a water sign female. Um, I see the High Priestess here too. So the two combined kind of speaks more to Cancer, a Cancer female. We have temperance here, fire sign here, could be a Sagittarius too. So, uh, and I'm seeing someone seeing a future with the other. Yeah, someone sees prosperity with the future, um, happiness here. So this future is, you have the sun upright and you have the three of wands here. seems like something happened here in the past and here goes this king of wands again and the temperance so something definitely happened here um i know this is a capricorn reading but i'm seeing 
uh, Cancer in here. I'm seeing Sagittarius in here. Um, there's something here that happened in the past. Someone got some news. Something happened to this water sign female, it seems. Again, take it out how it resonates, but to this water sign. And it seems to be centered around this, I heard Capricorn. I'm seeing Sagittarius. So there was something unjust that happened here with someone in a powerful position. They weren't fair. And maybe now someone's trying to, whoo, this seems like a specific reading. <sighs> and now someone is trying to move on, I'm hearing, with perhaps a Sagittarius. Whew. But um, family's getting in the way. Like, I feel like, this person is trying not to have family be in the way. They're trying to make it work or, or try to make something happen and family not. Um, be affected by this decision. Wow. Okay. Then we had King of Pentacles at the in the in the uh, at the bottom of the deck. There go the Earth. <sighs> All right, Capricorn, let's keep going. We have um, Death and Rebirth here at the foundation of this reading. This is a new start. Someone wanting a new start, but I feel like again there's some hesitation here. There has been hesitation in the past. Yeah, so uh, someone feels like. Due to addictions, your, your wish is not going to come true. I feel like, uh, yeah, the Capricorn in this reading feels like their wish is not going to come true. May not feel like they are strong enough. But feel like maybe perhaps with a earth sign, they could get their wishes. Or if they get the message about finances, they're hoping for a message about finances. Yeah, again, this is hope, but not necessarily working. So I feel like this is money that they're looking for money that they can get without so much work, without putting so much effort, work, time into it. So maybe they're looking, this could be also like somebody dealing with a divorce and hoping that they can get their justice in the end. You know, like I put forth all the effort and the work. Before this ends, I want to make sure I'm good. I, I see that too. Okay, so let's just see what happened here in the past. We have the Ace of Pentacles here in the past and the reverse. So let's see why this is in the past and the reverse. Because to me, that just leads me to believe that, again, I just feel maybe you've been working towards this for some time. Getting to a place of um, being comfortable, stability. Yeah, someone walked away here in the past. Uh, yeah, I feel like you have the judgment card in reverse. This is harsh judgment. Someone really not liking what someone did. Um, and someone walked away here to kind of ponder what they wanted to do. Some of you may even be dealing also with a Virgo. We have the Hermit here also. So let's see what's going on here in the near future. We have the crone. The crone in this deck, and this is, um, by the way, this is the um, the Gaia deck. You may see it below. This is um, the crone. <sighs> so the crone here um, doesn't take no junk. This could be also a, um, we have queen of swords here. So this could be an air sign female too. I'm seeing a lot of females here, by the way. We're about to get around to the, in it, except for the father, of course, but, um, or well, this father figure. And we also have King of Water. Um, so we have here in the near future, we have the crone not taking no jump, saying whatever she got to say on her mind, doing whatever she got to do. And this is how I see you in the near future, doing what you got to do. 
not taking no mess, not taking no mess. And you will be successful in this. I feel like you, you don't want to be wrapped up in any drama either. Yeah, I feel like you're going to have your defenses up. Maybe some sense of hostility here as well due to what has happened. You might have to do a few things to do what you got to do. Because I'm seeing this hair fine in reverse. Some of y'all may be trying to get out of a relationship. I'm really seeing that here. I'm also seeing the five of pentacles here. Even if you do let go of this person, it still to me seems like you'll still be okay. You won't feel like, you may feel like you left them. I don't see them abandoning you. I feel like you are leaving them. Wow. Yeah, and there's definitely hope in the near future. So you have the star card at the bottom of the deck. We also have here in the crown, we have the king of water. Woo. So this to me seems like a father figure as well. Someone that's very understanding. Um, but I'm seeing the high priestess here also in reverse. So clarify this high priestess with this father figure in reverse. Why is this high priestess in reverse? Woo. This could also be you. <sighs> Trying to see how to get out of any competition with other people, how to get out of having to fight for someone's affection. This is what's in your mind. And some of you is keeping you up at night. Um, but in your thoughts, you're like, how do I get away from all of this? How do I get away from this combativeness? And you're just trying to figure it out. I wonder, we have 10 of Pentacles at the end of the, I think this is about your finances. Like really you want to make sure you're good. <laughs> Seven of Wands here. Uh, maybe you feel like you've been in this for a long time and not, okay. Before I move on, thank you, Holy Spirit. We're going to the Wisdom Oracle deck. Yeah, it, this is really, um, a decision you're going to have to make because I feel like, clarify this orphanage, orphan. You might feel like you're alone in all of this. Even if you did want this to work, you may feel like you have to do all the work. Again, this is just this whole reading is about not wanting to put forth more effort work. Not feeling like you should have to. Like like the the love that you gave and the nurturing and the holding on that you did is just you don't see you feeling like you have to do this in the future. You're like, I don't want to have to do this in the future. Why should I have to do this in the future kind of thing? How you see yourself healing. You see yourself as getting, being okay, healing, doing well. Um, we have here... Perhaps here, doing well with a fire sign, having your wish come true. Not quite sure if you can be victorious, maybe not even talking about this, but you find your wish come true and your strength in this fire sign, it seems. <laughs> How other people see you. We have perception here in reverse. People feel like you're not looking at this in the right way. They feel like your perspective on this is Screwed. Skewed. I know how to say skewed. I'm saying screwed. Like they feel like, why are you looking at it this way? Why? Why why do they feel like this? Yeah, they because they don't want you to not see a feature with them. They want you to start working on this again. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo. Also, I'm seeing the strength sign again, but they see you as being strong. That might be, I thought I saw another one flip over. They see you as strong. 
But I feel like if they could, they will hold up your success. They see you moving forward. They want you to be. So somebody here doesn't want to see you happy. That's what it seems like. They want you to be, I'm hearing barren, distraught over them. Um, they don't like how you're looking at this. They may feel like you have many options here. Yeah, they, they, they want you to hold on. They may see you or hope that you hold on to a connection that is not in your highest good, potentially. So, anyway, emotions. Your hopes and fears center around these emotions here. Will you get what you want? Should I mend this? What is the outcome? Wow, I just keep seeing nine of cups for you. This is beautiful. Like nine of cups has been popping up all around this as we move forward, you know, in your life. Your wish is coming true. That's what nine of cups are. It's one step from ten of cups. Some of you may have gone back to nine of cups because maybe ten of cups wasn't in your best interest, being in the household, whatever. Maybe it's time for you to take a step back because you don't want that anymore. So I'm seeing this emotions here. You being emotionally fulfilled. That's your hope. You want emotional fulfillment. Okay. So let's go ahead here. And at the bottom of the deck, let me see. I felt this. Hangman. Hey yeah, you don't want to be in a place of limbo anymore. I'm seeing here as your outcome a union. And I'm seeing a queen of fire. This could be with a water sign. A union with a water sign. Capricorn. What's this? What's going on? Clarify this outcome. It could be someone who has Leo in their chart as well. But again, I see you as the outcome working on this relationship with... It looks like the water sign. I'm seeing a ten of swords here also. I see an ending here with whoever was... Um, Whoever you you had this moment with, this tower moment with, where things came crashing down, I see an ending with them. Yeah, that's going to halt. Ending. Death. This is the chariot. In reverse. So you, wow. <laughs> this is crazy. So you have the Ten of Swords, the tower in reverse. So whatever happened already happened to bring down this house. And then you have the Ten of Swords. Then you have the chariot in reverse. Chariot is about movement forward, and it's in reverse. And then we have death, upright, not even in reverse, upright. So this is ending upon not movement, not moving upon ending after this terrible happening that occurred here in the past. <sighs> yeah, it's over for whoever that is. Um, and it could be the person who you had a family with, and so is your lack of happiness, your you're feeling sad and somber and all this, this, this need to, that maybe this feeling of maybe I should stay in it for the family bit, you know, that you may have been going over and over in your head about it's, 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 it's time for that to end. I, and now I'm seeing this, this King of Swords come out. So I mean, King of Wands come out, this lover, this Ace of Pentacles, new starts in money. But then I see this Ace of Swords again, I kind of want to find out what's up with this Ace of Swords because you're definitely manifesting a new beginning here, Capricorn. What's going on here? You're not... Clarify this Ace of Swords. We have Eight of Swords in reverse. You're no longer stuck. You have the Hermit here. I mean, I'm seeing family again, though. So you may not be telling this person who you ended this relationship with what's going on here with your new union. Okay, you, you you just feel like it's none of your business. Maybe you feel like they're going to block you. You know, they're going to try to block. Oh, look at the time. Okay, so let me go ahead and get you your romance oracle. What messages do Capricorn need to know for October 2020? Yeah, again, I'm seeing this... <laughs> You're not trying to talk to this person anymore. Whoever this is that did you wrong, you ain't trying to even give them the time of the day. Okay? You're working on a partnership, but it ain't that one. Perhaps you're not even talking to your new partner about what happened. 
Yeah, I'm seeing children here. Definitely this is a family dynamic. Your children are affecting your love life at this moment. Um, you have known each other before. This is a past life relationship here that you're trying to give a chance. And you know children are going to be affecting this. You're trying to... Uh, I think the confusion comes in when you don't surrender to what's going on. Okay, that's where I think the confusion comes in. Because this new person could be the one. You might have children with this other person who you're not talking to. That's how I'm feeling here. All right. So let's go ahead and get you guys some advice. Let's get you some career advice. Clarify the career advice because I see career all up in this. Successful funding focuses on your priorities. Okay. I love this. And at the bottom of the deck, quiet retreat. Maybe taking a time out. Okay. It's time for you to disconnect from the outer world. So that you can discern and process your true thoughts and feelings from the inner world, creating this quiet time for yourself and you'll have more clarity about what to do next. Okay. We also have successful funding. Your idea, your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom of God that gave you the idea. Do not allow money concerns to prevent you from turning it into a reality. Crowdfunding partnerships and other investments are available to help you. And then last but not least, we have focus on your priorities. Where you put your focus is where you will receive your outcome. Your priorities will, are calling for you, which may produce a feeling of anxiety unless you give them the much needed attention they deserve and you desire. Even a small amount of time devoted to your priorities will help you feel better and more confident, okay? So this is your financial advice. And let's go ahead and close out with your love advice. I'm going to also, thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm going to also give you a chakra message. See what chakras you need to, <sighs> thank you, Holy Spirit. Work on in the month of October. See what chakras you may want to concentrate on and just keep healing yourself. I'm seeing your third eye chakra, your red chakra, and your yellow chakra, which is amazing because we also have follow your gut instinct. We also have the lion here, which is speaking to following your intuition. This is about your strength, having the courage. So it seems to me like someone really just needs to step out on faith, follow what they know is best for them what they desire, their desired outcome. What is your desired outcome? Do that. Trust yourself and seeing the truth for what it really is. This is about you obtaining clarity this month. So I would just definitely make sure you maybe get some exercise, make sure, because your body image here is coming up. So this may perhaps have to do with your level of strength, balancing yourself out, your vitality levels. Um, this is what might make you feel a little down sometimes. So you might want to do other things to kind of keep your energy up. Uh, maybe ask friends, maybe certain things you might need to do to keep your energy up. But make sure that you, I would just say, trust your instinct. Definitely trust your instinct here. Truth and clarity is coming to the light. So yes, you just want to, so you want to work on your yellow chakra and there are great stones you can use for these. You can use um, crystals of like citrine um, for this one. You can also use um, amethyst for your third eye chakra and for your red chakra. Um, you can use a red stone. It could be like a red jasper or something like that. By the way, I also sell, you know, the crystals and everything on my website. So you might want to check out all the beautiful crystals I have here that will help you with your leveling out of your chakras. So let's go ahead and close out the reading with your love reading. Make sure you definitely hit the thumbs up before you leave. Subscribe, hit the bell so you will get all the messages, get all of the um videos that I put out when I'm going live, when I have premieres. Make sure you hit the bell so you always get that. Thank you, Holy Spirit, ancestors, angels, and guides. Thank you for your guidance for Capricorn for today. What is the love advice for Capricorn for October 2020? I'm filling this one at the bottom of the deck too. Wow, forgiveness is here. Nothing can be gained by holding on to past disappointments. Love who you are. Listen with your heart. You are a divine and wonderful person deserving of all the wonderful things that life has to offer. You are listening to what is being said rather than with your loving heart. Look at your pattern when it comes to relationships. It requires inner strength to recognize that you need to change or modify your behavior. 
be willing to express love here. So you have some amazing messages here. Look at your patterns when it comes to relationships here. Love who you are. This is about you knowing who you are and being okay with that. So this is if this to me feels like you got to mend who mend you mend who you are in this. You are not alone. You're not in this alone. So it's time for you to heal this part of yourself that is feeling uh, a bit unlucky because it looks like you have a lot of luck. See, it looks like you have a lot of wishes coming true. You are doing well, amazingly. Okay. So I love this. Um, this was a great message for you. Let me see if there's one more message here. Oh, thank you. Whew. Okay. You are here for a reason. Know what that is. This is how important you are. God sees you as an important being and needing to be here. I feel one more message for you. Advice. I just, I, I don't leave until um, spirit tells me to leave and I'm over time right now. But until you get the message you need to, the full message that you need to get, then <sighs> I can't go. So a challenge. Okay. So this is speaking to a challenge can be resolved. Okay. Without withdraw from the drama of others, have patience with yourself and those around you. There's a decision coming guys, release yourself from that, which holds you back a need to detox unnecessary worry based on lack and self-confidence. Okay. I feel like someone really needs this message. We also have two of Michael here. It, it will be better if you just make a decision. Over analyzing a problem, just find the compromise. Any other messages here? Thank you, Holy Spirit, ancestors, angels, and guides. Yeah, um, I, I've always, I'm, I'm hearing a message here. It's always better to make a decision because when you make a decision, you can always turn back around, go do something else, you know, but if you stay stuck, then you remain stuck. So you don't want to be in a place of limbo anymore. So just do something. And if it's not right, you'll know it. As soon as you do it, you'll know whether or not you need to go the other way or whenever you finally realize it, then you turn around and go the other way. It's okay. Um, we have four of Michael here. We have oh, an ace of Michael here at the bottom of the deck, again, in reverse. This is ace of swords in reverse. So seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions. Also, a wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up, clear up communication problems with others. Because um, I really feel like you're not communicating here. You're, you're not talking about it. Therefore, you can't deal with it. You're going to have to face whatever it is that you're hiding from in order to get the clarity you need, in order to move on the way you want. You're going to have to face it. So it's okay to face it. It's even okay to fail, but it's not okay to not go forward. Have a blessed day. Blessings, love, and light. Thank you, Capricorns. Thank you for allowing me to impart on your life. Blessings to you, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.